Hey everybody, Sierra Game Scott uh, coming to you um, uh, from C Conquest of Camelot. Unfortunately, this is if you watch episode five, this is kind of like episode five where we had a problem with the codec just uh, creating a file that's too large, uh, and so I'm trying again to repeat it. But the good news is you didn't lose out on too much action in this, um, so we won't be skipping through too much. Um, we're just going to um, go up here. Uh, and the other videos are created. This video was created beforehand um, as well, but we're just going to try to replay it so um, things work out well. And uh, well, let's see, can you go over this way? A huge bank of snow blocks your path. Okay, so we have to go north. Uh, I said in the earlier one that's kind of an homage to Quest for Glory 1 that you can't uh, go by that path because of the snow. Alright, so here you have to actually do um, you have to actually recite something. And what you're reciting, if you recall um, from when we talked to Guinevere, that um, we got that rose. Well, you have to use that rose, but the way you use it is you say, love um, is my shield. And that brings these rose petals out. And you kind of have to just stay in them and uh, make it ac to make it across the ice. And what I did last time was actually, um, it takes a little while, and pretty much you just have to stay within them. There's not too much going on. Uh, I just used it as an opportunity to keep you updated about things um, that happened. And um, pretty much um, just, uh, oop, see the ice kind of cracks if you get too far off it, so you want to stay in there. Um, pretty much what happened was um, uh, my laptop just wouldn't use my, uh, and I'm going to some of the technical problems we had. I'm um, just using this opportunity because I assure you nothing really interesting is happening here. Um, that my laptop uh, just wouldn't work the OS or something, had some corruptions or problems with it uh, that wouldn't allow me to record, um, at least with synchronization, proper synchronization with Camp Studio or any other software. Uh, so I had to use, I'm using a desktop computer, I'm kind of set up in an ad hoc situation, um, pretty much. Um, not not the most convenient situation. I have to kind of pull the uh, desktop in and out every time I do it. It's not too terrible, but it obviously means I can't just do these things every day. Uh, so that's kind of how things are working out with the desktop, but it's working out for the most part. Uh, I think I'm going to upload more videos at one time uh, than, in the, than I did last time because it's probably harder to keep the flow if you just see one video every couple days. Um, but I can't make videos quite as often as I used to when I was just using my laptop, which was a lot more convenient for me um, given my uh, living situation. Um, but that's all right. Things are at least working out, and hopefully we're back for good. Hopefully, if we keep the codecs working, at least um, I'll be able to transfer this data to my laptop and upload things, and everything will just be just fine. Um, and uh, I hope to continue on with the Sierra Game Scott channel, doing Sierra Game and Adventure Game LPs for uh, quite a while, and hopefully at some point I might have a little better situation. It might be a little easier to handle these sorts of things. Um, also, uh, the only problem we did have. I created about six videos, I think, and four of them are fine. Four of them will come in, and there won't be any problems of any lost information. Uh, this one and, f and five, unfortunately, five is the newest one to be uploaded, or the first one to be uploaded, I should say, um, did not come in properly. All that told us was we're at some ice castle now, um, and this is the, where Lancelot's being held. Um, and so let's go up and let's save the game. That's probably good idea, because we're going to do a few things. Um, let's call it Queen. I think I already have that as a file, so we'll call it Queen 2. Um, and we'll see a couple of humorous things, because there's not too much that's going to happen. The next major part of the game that, um, that we'll see actually takes part in place in the next video. So, uh, let's draw our sword. Do you threaten me with the very sword I gave you from my own hand? Once, only once will I tolerate this, or will you suffer the fate of Lancelot? She gave us the sword? And why is she holding them captive? She's our friend. Should heed my warning. Alright, so as you can see, it's not a good idea to draw your blade against the Ice Queen. As Icy's fingers seize your spine and coldness numbs your brain, you wish instead in battle hot you nobly had been slain. Alas, your ears are filled with ice, and you hear not my sad refrain, a frozen statue of despair in winter's hard domain. Yes, um, uh, our friend Merlin is a poet, apparently, as well. So, you don't want to draw the blade. All right, so talk queen. There are times. <sighs> talk. Why does he say talk girl? Will she get upset at you? 
Guinevere is a girl. I am far more than that. Yeah, she does. That's funny. Uh, talk. Woman. I sense you possess something that belongs to me. Give it to me, and I will tell you about uh, what... Oh, sorry about that. Let's talk to her again. See if we can do that again. Talk, woman. I sense that you possess something that belongs to me. Give it to me, and I will tell you uh, what even Merlin does not know. We're to search for the Grail. But if you withhold it, you will have neither help nor knowledge from me. Ask about item. Merlin your advisor, not I. Oh. Ask about gift. <sighs> Ask about heart. Alright, well we have to give her the heart. I don't know how you're supposed to know this, but you do. Maybe you're supposed to ask Merlin about this. So this is what she wants. This is the thing we got from the um, the well in the last stage, or last area. Blessed be, for this is the greatest of all gifts. I will give you the gift of knowledge in return. To find the Grail, you must take the ship to Gaza, then seek Jerusalem. Somewhere in that city it lies, hidden. Uh, sorry for that being in the way, by the way. Uh, once you leave here, I will transport you safely across the ice to continue your search. The Lancelot I will keep here, for he has spurred my love in favor of your queen. I will not release him unless you ask for it. So we have to show our honor here, really. Um, if you leave, I'm not even going to bother doing it, because nothing happens. You just go get transported right back to the shore. Um, and you, you later on will pay the consequences for not getting Lancelot. But uh, Arthur definitely has to be the bigger man here, because <laughs> um, essentially she's saying he loves our wife. And so we have to um, seek, we have to take a test in order to spare his life, um, even though he's in love with our, with our woman. So, um, but we, yes, we have to agree. Uh, take test. Maybe we can say that. You are a noble man, Pendragon. I don't know why she calls us that. But we will see how true is your desire to save Lancelot when you are put to the test. Follow me. I like how ominous that sounds. Put to the test. Like we're going to be tortured or go through a tra trial of fire or, um, or um, fight some horde monster or something. And what is the test? A bush full of flowers. When you're ready for a test, we shall begin. All right, so we're gonna go through most of that in the next video. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that we can do. Um, look, woman, because I don't want to overlap with the next video. She looks expectant in a frosty sort of way, um, but I also don't want to rip you off too much on this video. Uh, I'll try to think if there's anything else I can explain to you. Uh, pretty much, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm back. Hopefully, Codex seemed to be okay. If I'm redoing this, I apologize definitely once again for uh, fouling that up and not getting the original content, but uh, we've got it up anyway, and I am glad to be back with my uh, Sierra Game channel, and uh, once again, I do apologize for anyone who stumbled on this video and thinks it's a little short or disorganized again. Uh, once again, it was just a problem with the codec. Uh, so it says, come, Pentagram, my patience is not without limit. If you will not look at the bush and take the test, I will send you from here. All right, well, uh, we don't want to have that happen, so that's pretty much all. Anyway, um, just, I guess, use this opportunity just for some housekeeping. But yeah, so I told you about the technical problems. I did say I'm, I'm interested in being back. I'm glad of being back. I do apologize for anyone who finds any of these uh, information sessions boring. I will tr I try not to use them um, too often. Um, but we are back into the game. Um, I'll take requests for the next, vid uh, next video series I'll do. Uh, probably, probably back in the Space Quest, but we're not sure if there's anything else people would prefer. Some of the rarer games, I'd be willing to take that under advisement. Um, and, um, yeah, I guess I can't really say too much. So, uh, instead of boring you, instead of rambling on, uh, let me just end the video here, and um, we will see you uh, the next time we play Conquest of Camelot with a video that is actually already recorded and hopefully uh, of much better quality. Until then, uh, take care. Sierra Game Scott, playing Conquest of Camelot, and signing off.